Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at E3 2014. We're here at Alienware's booth and I'm speaking with uh, Brian. Yeah, Brian Designs. Cool, and Brian, uh, this looks a lot like what we saw back at CES. Uh, in that it looks a lot like Alienware's uh, steam machine, but it's not quite, is it? It's not quite the Alienware steam machine that was talked about at CES. So very recently, Valve announced the Steam OS and the Steam controller was pushed out to 2015. Um, what a at Alienware, we've decided to do is continue moving forward with launching the Alienware Alpha console. And what we're doing at E3 is showing off all the changes to the platform. Um, most notably, we're going to be shipping the Alienware Alpha console by the holiday time period. What we've done is we're using the Windows operating system and we've developed a custom UI that will enable customers to get straight into Steam Big Picture mode. Using, so using a controller from their couch. So it is going to be Windows 8.1? It will be Windows 8.1. Um, we're doing our own exclusive custom UI. So it'll allow you to go um, straight from boot up into Steam Big Picture. If you want to control some settings, like uh, changing your input device using the HDMI in input, you can do that in the UI as well. Um, so we're, we're giving some functionality through the UI, but mainly get people to their games as fast as possible. That's what they want to do. And, and you guys are calling it like a 10-foot user interface? It is. It's a 10-foot UI, uh, UI that is fully controller-based. So we'll be shipping the Alienware Alpha console with an Xbox 360 controller. Um, with the dongle that goes with it. So you'll be able to connect up to four controllers to one device. So you're sitting basically around your couch playing all your Steam, your entire Steam library, anything that's controller compatible, you better play with your friends sitting on your couch. Gotcha, cool. And can you sort of uh, walk us through some of the specs, the internals and the yeah. ports and all that? Sure, absolutely. So the Alienware Alpha will start at $549. So that's going to come with an Intel i3. I'm um, going to come with 4 gigs, 500 uh, gig hard drive, and it's a custom built uh, NVIDIA Maxwell graphics solution. So built specifically for the Alienware Alpha console so that we're maximizing graphics performance and horsepower out of it. And, um, being able to give your games a 1080p experience with over 60 frames. And is that a mobile GPU? Uh, it's, a, it's a custom solution, so it's not really, uh, we're not really talking about a desktop or a mobile. It's a custom solution specifically. Okay. And last I heard, I think it had uh, two gigabytes of VRAM? It does, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, can you talk about the CPU and the, the storage options and, and stuff like that, RAM? Yeah, so um, we have, we'll have 4i3, 4i5, 4i7 options. We'll have memory upgrades as well, and we'll have hard drive upgrades as well. So um, we'll start at the 500 gig, but there'll be upgrades um, available. So probably be around three or four configuration options. Um, we haven't necessarily uh, locked in and announced all these configuration options here. Um, but in the holiday time period when we do launch it, the customers will be able to choose between three and four options. Cool, and you said the, the system will ship with the controller? It will. It will ship with the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, are you guys going to be releasing a SKU uh, where the controller is optional? Because I know some people, some PC gamers already have an Xbox controller. So we've been thinking about it. Um, really the biggest difference is if you use the 360 controller, you need to have the Windows dongle. So it's not just take an Xbox 360 controller and pair it with your Alienware Alpha console. So we're, we're deciding if we're going to offer a solution without the controller because you also need the dongle. It's kind of up to you. We're still, we're still working through that. Cool, and I know that one thing that Alienware is, is pushing really heavily is um, is multi local multiplayer experiences. And I believe this unit has at least uh, four USB ports to support the controllers. It does. So with the 360 controller, you can pair four controllers to the one dongle, so you don't have to take up multiple USBs. Oh, awesome. But it does have um, two USB 2s and two USB 3s on the system. You have Toslink for audio, you have HDMI in, so you can pass through you know, the, the from another console, from the cable box, or whatever it may be, and pass it through the HDMI out as well. So you have a lot of functionality for the system in the living room. Local co-op is a huge thing for us, so we're showing off a lot of three-player, four-player games. Um, basically, it's enabling customers to, or enabling gamers, to be able to play with their friends in a living room type of setting, play all their Steam games, uh, controller friendly, in a living room type of setting, versus being only online, being able to play or in a LAN setting somebody's house, grab a controller and play. Cool, and can you walk us through the actual uh, the ports? Yeah, the... absolutely. So, um, you see the alien head is the power button. Um, you have two USB 2s here. And these and these and this will have fancy lights when it's powered up. So the alien head will turn on and the triangle on the on the right side will turn on. Or on okay. the left side, excuse me. What, what color will they be? 
whatever color you want, it's fully controlled through Alien Effects as well. So just like all of our other platforms, you'll be able to choose on the different color setting you want. You'll be able to turn it off if you want to as well. Cool. Um, and then on the back, so very clean design. And then on the back you have obviously your power. You have HDMI in, HDMI out. Um, you have the uh, toss link for audio. You have gigabit ethernet and then two uh, USB 3.0s. Cool. And, uh, and the reason, uh, you mentioned this earlier, but uh, the main reason you guys have two HDMI's is that so you can actually use it as a pass-through. Absolutely. So if you have another console, let's say you have an Xbox, you have a PS4, um, even your cable box or your, your satellite box, you can actually plug it in through the HDMI in, and through the settings and the custom UI that we're going to have, will allow the user to decide uh, which input device to, to output to the television. So do you want to use the, the output output to your television? or the other device using HDMI. Cool, and I know you guys said you're, you're having a 10-foot user interface, which isn't quite ready to show yet, yeah. but it will uh, boot up to uh, Steam Big Picture mode? It will, so you'll have the option to go straight into Big Picture mode, where you can go and use uh, the store, search all the different uh, games that are on there uh, that are for sale. You go into your library, get to select all your games, download them, play them. You know, the best thing about going and using Steam Big Picture mode is if you have a lot of different games. I know I personally have over 100 games a lot of the viewers have a lot more than that. Um, all the licenses pass over, right? So if I have a game in Steam, all they have to do is download it to the other console and start playing. I don't have to rebuy the game for a different device or a different console. You have your entire back catalog ready to go. Uh, can you talk about your relationship with like indie developers? Because I know you guys are pushing that heavily as well. Yeah, so we think there's a, uh, we think indies are really where a lot of the innovation is coming from in the gaming industry. So a lot of games, most recently we're showing here at E3, games like Gauntlet, games like Grow Force, where these are independent developers that are coming out with games that are just a ton of fun to play on the couch with multiple, um, with a lot of your friends, three, four player, and be able to just have fun for you know, 20, 30 minutes at a time. That's really what consoles have done extremely well in the past, is bring friends together sitting on the couch playing a game. Um, we believe that now is absolutely the right time with the alpha uh, console, that we can go out and bring a lot of that indie content. Of course, Alien Rafa is going to be able to play the AAA titles that everybody uh, expects it to play, and it'll play at 1080p with great uh, frame rates, right? Um, so you'll be able to do that. But really, the story here is how can we enable customers to play with their friends on a couch? And the Indians are doing a great job with a lot of great content. Cool. And uh, when Steam OS does come out and the controller is ready, uh, will users be able to upgrade the, or I, I guess change the OS mm -hmm. to Steam OS and then just plug in a Steam controller? Yeah, so Alienware Commit is, continues to be 100% committed to the Steam OS and the Steam controller initiative through Valve. We've been partnering with them for a couple of years now on bringing it to market. We're going to continue working really closely with them, with all the game developers in the marketplace to, to really um, solidify that, that ecosystem. So we're going to continue to be there. When Valve's ready, we're absolutely going to be there as well. Can you talk about your uh, your relationship with Valve, what it's been like to work with the company? They've been awesome. You know, we fully support what it is that they're doing by pushing out the OS and the controller, quite simply because they don't necessarily feel it's 100% ready for customers. And if something's not ready, it shouldn't be selling, it shouldn't be giving it out to the, to the gamers out there. So, fully supportive of it. Um, they've been fantastic as we've been talking through from, uh, with the game developers and really just building up the sequel system. Well, it uh, looks really interesting, and uh, once again, it's going to be 550 coming sometime this holiday. Yeah, and the holidays 549 coming out with the control. Yeah. Cool, awesome. Thank you, Brian. Uh, thank you.